Our next award is for the Senior Club Professional Player of the Year. This is his second consecutive victory. Let's check out some highlights. Daryl Kestner. From the top. Letting go, playing to win, and staying focused are the keys to success on the golf course for Daryl Kestner. The head PGA professional at Deepdale Golf Club in Manhasset, New York, Daryl capped off his best year ever with a repeat win as the PGA Senior Club Professional Player of the Year. There isn't a finer player or uh, teacher, I believe, in the entire country than Daryl Kestner. These awards uh, come to very few PGA members uh, across the country, so there's a feather in your cap, uh, uh, you know, when, even if you're winding down your career. It's a feather in your cap when you can win one, and uh, I've been trying for a long time, so to, to finally win a, a second one, it's, uh, it's very nice. Darrell had an impressive season, both in senior and regular division competition. He finished tied for sixth in the Commerce Bank Classic on the Champions Tour, and he tied for 31st in the Senior PGA Championship. Darrell finished fourth in the PGA Club Professional Championship and was the runner-up in the Senior CPC. But without a doubt, the highlight of Darrell's year was at age 52, finally making the cut at the PGA Championship. Jeff, I've played eight US Opens, nine PGAs, and to finally make the cut at Bobble Straw is a dream come true. While Darrell will always enjoy playing the game, his relationship with the membership at Deepdale is also a tremendous source of pride. What stands out about Darrell is not only is he a, a pro's pro, but he's the quintessential member's pro. He's a great communicator, and uh, his knowledge is, is superb, but he's, he's able to communicate that uh, to the membership. Uh, say with pride, it's a wonderful golf course, it's a wonderful club, it's a great establishment. And, uh, you know, I go to work every day and it's, uh, it's you know, you're a happy man when you, you can say it, it doesn't feel like work. When I let go. Congratulations to Daryl Kessner, the 2005 PGA Senior Club Professional Player of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, Daryl Kestner. PGA can uh, make you look pretty impressive uh, with their videos right there. After seeing that, I don't know how Tiger beat me in that PGA. Uh, I didn't really want to write a speech. I was just going to talk tonight, but Margie, my wife Margie said uh, I'm going to ramble on. So she wrote, wrote this for me, and uh, so here we go. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank my wife Margie for her love and support. <laughs> thank you, Margie. I would like to thank three PGA professionals that I work for who are responsible for shaping and molding my career and making me the golf professional I am today. First of all, Vic Sorrell, Finn Castle Country Club, Bluefield, Virginia, my first job. Vic taught me that golf is not only a game but a business too. He emphasized the importance of learning all aspects of the business to be a professional in merchandising, teaching, playing, all while he made me pick up the range, work the bag room, chain up those carts at night. Uh, but working from the ground up for 30 years really makes me appreciate where I am today. Thank you, Vic. Secondly, Tom Neoporti, your current Bill Strasbaugh Award winner. There's a reason why he's getting that award tonight. When you work for Tom at Wingfoot, you become part of the family, the 10th child. <laughs> Isn't that right, Joe P? <laughs> um, I've learned many things while working for Tom, but none more valuable than the human touch. 
Tom taught me to treat every single member the way I would want to be treated. If I were a member, this is what Tom does, and I was lucky enough to have a front row seat watching and learning this valuable lesson. Thank you, Tom. And lastly, Nelson Long, or as Uncle Nell, as we affectionately call him in the Met section. Nelson has been the head professional for Century, at Century Country Club for about 30 years and the director of golf at Trial for about 20 years in, in Jamaica. Past president of Deepdale, uh, Erwin Kramer, called Nelson the king of all the golf pros. He hires well. He's had three national club pro champions work for him. As a head professional, uh, one of the hardest parts of the job is hiring a staff that works well together. He taught me that the people you hire are a reflection of you and can help you be successful. Nelson has been very helpful to me during my entire career, not only to, uh, as a mentor, but as a great friend, even if he did introduce me to his niece, my wife Margie. <laughs> uh, Nelson, Vic, and Tom all lead by example. I've learned more by watching them day in and day out than any textbook could ever have taught me. This is important because I've tried to do this with my own staff, and I think it's the most honest way to teach anyone anything. Winning golf tournaments is great, but at the end of the day, it's what someone learns from you that will be your legacy. My golf game will eventually fade, but hopefully what I teach my staff about character and life will last forever. This has certainly been the case with these uh, three special mentors in my life. Thank you all very much. Next, I'd like to thank my wife, Margie, <laughs> for putting her career on hold and, uh, and helping make uh, mine successful. She does the merchandising, pays the bills, and appears so interested in all the rounds of golf. People have told her over the years, she really is a good actress. She is also known for uh, being a great shopper. She always tells me putting well is not an option, Daryl. It's a necessity. The Mets section has a reputation of having great players and great tournaments. I gotta say thanks to Executive Director Charlie Robson, Tournament Director John Farley, and their entire staffs for running a great PGA section. They work endlessly to make our tournaments the best in the country, and I thank you for that. My good friend Rick Hartman said I'm very good at sucking up. I've been a club pro for about 30 years, and I've used Titleist, Callaway, Ping. In the last two years, I've, won, uh, I've used TaylorMade, and Mark King, president of TaylorMade Adidas, called me the other day and congratulated me on this, this award again. Uh, I also want to thank Denny DiMarino with Polo for uh, making me look like a golfer on, at those tournaments. Uh, I also want to thank my friend Andrew Rosen, for, uh, who owns Theory, for dressing me tonight at these award ceremony. <laughs> and, uh, but honestly, I want to thank uh, all these companies uh, on, on behalf of all the PGA pros for their help and their support for all they do for us. Deep Dell Golf Club, it's the greatest place in the world to work. General managers Bob and Scott Heaney create an environment that makes it a pleasure to go to work each day. Tommy Fedor, our superintendent and his staff, Deep Dell is in such great shape. Uh, I wouldn't have won this award without putting on Deep Dell Greens um, all, the, all these years. And the membership, they're so supportive of me and my staff that they're always interested in how we're doing in our tournaments. Special thanks to my president, Dixon Boardman, Terry Allen Kramer, and my friend, John Wilson. John has been a great supporter and a friend of uh, Margie and me. He's always given a great advice, and I thank him for that. Uh, the biggest thanks, though, goes to my staff. Winning this award this year, my staff is the reason why. Because of them, I'm, I was able to win this award. My staff works together so well, they make me look like a superstar on a daily basis, which allows me to do whatever it is that I do. My assistants, Mike Stevenson, Kirk Satterfield, Jeff Geschwin, my shop manager, Bridget Gannon, and my great caddy master, Charlie Gambeski. And then last and not least, I want to thank my wonderful wife, Margie, for being, and looking, being here tonight and looking so good. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Congratulations, Margie. <laughs> you too, Daryl. 